marshmallows are very delicious. Uh, sorry, Strawberry, but I'm really on a roll over here. Almost halfway done with my step-by-step -step how to set up a tent segment on my instructional video. Well, I just have to say, Orange, Cherry, and Plum, those were some great stories you told. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Eh, I wouldn't say that. Oh? Well, why not, Sour? Oh, nothing, really. Just that. Well, my sister Sweet and I have a much better tale to tell. We do? Don't you remember? Remember what? Our way more awesome, incredibly dangerous, and gigantically exciting adventure than they had story? Let's hear it! Ooh! Can't wait! Do tell! Wait a minute. Shouldn't we write something out first? And, you know, maybe practice? Nah, just relax. Make it up as you go along. Like you're cooking. I do not make up my cooking as I go along. I follow the recipe exactly. Yeah, I've noticed. A real chef <gasps> knows how to improvise. Did I hear someone say something about topping our stories? <laughs> 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 you did indeed. Take it. Huh? <laughs> well, once upon a time, a long, long time ago, um, there were two little girls named Sweet and Sour, and they... <gasps> Can you give it just a little more punch? Punch? You know, sock. Uh... Zip, sizzle, pizzazz. Ah, uh, here, watch. What my sister meant to say was, this is the story of something that happened to us a long time ago. But not enough. It's burned everlastingly into our memory. It is? I mean, it was? Help me out here, will you, sweet? Yes. Yes, it was. I mean, is ever last, last ever what she said. Ah, it makes me tremble to think of that night. That dark, dangerous night in very deep, dark forest. night was just a job like any other night. Full of risk. Full of danger. But someone had to do it, and that someone was... me. There wasn't a moment to lose. We were on a mission of mercy. An expedition of the Berrykin Exploration Society was stranded in the very deep dark forest. Without the food supplies in our truck, they'd have to go to bed without dinner. And that was something we had vowed would not happen. Uh, excuse me? Question? Oh, uh, no big deal, but you keep saying we, so I was just kind of wondering. Where was Sweet? Uh, me? Well, I was... Asleep. Asleep? Off in Dreamland. Out like a light. So, while Sweet snoozed, I raced us down the road on our mission of... Excuse me. <sighs> Question? Just asking, just asking. But, uh, with all that bouncing and noise, how could she sleep? She'd just eaten a very heavy meal, okay? Why, yes, a very heavy meal. That's right. So I... It started with a watercress salad tossed with a rich raspberry vinaigrette dressing topped with a sprinkling of crispy croutons. I... Next came a savory noodle soup with lentils, peas, celery, and carrots gently simmered in a broth of... Sweet! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, where were we? Oh, yeah, on a mission 
of mercy. Everything was going simply swell. Until all of a sudden... It wasn't. We were stuck in the mud! Ugh. We weren't stuck! We were sinking! And this wasn't mud! It was a bottomless pit of very, very quicksand! There was only one thing to do. was over, but only for the moment. It would not be over over until I got the truck out of there. <laughs> but even with my magnificently muscle tone strength, it wouldn't budge. a serious problem, and then I had it! I would go for help! Uh-oh, I'd have to go for help fast! If the vine broke, the truck would sink, and the Berrykins would go to bed without any dinner! Oh yeah, and I'd never see my sister again. And so, I set off alone. One girl against the wilderness. Uh, excuse me. Question. Why didn't you just wake her up? Yeah, why not wake me up? Are you kidding? Do you know what you're like when someone interrupts your nap time? You are bad news. Mm-mm, no thank you. Uh-uh. I am not. Are two. Am not. Two. Not. Huh? When? Now, uh, where was I? Going off against the wilderness. Ah, yes. There I was. One girl against the wilderness. One girl deep in the dense, daunting darkness. And did I say dangerous? <gasps> so, there I was, smack in the middle of the most dangerous adventure I'd ever been on. And I've been on plenty. An avalanche in the very big mountains? Pfft. Trapped aboard a sinking ship in a hurricane? Ha! This one topped them all. Jump in any time, will ya? I would, if I knew where you were going with it. Well, how am I supposed to know? This is called improv, don't you know? As I was saying, I had to get help. And fast. But where? It was a big forest. A very big forest. Hey! I'm trying to navigate, do you mind? Expert tracker though I was, it was no use. The stars could tell me which way was north. <gasps> if only I could see them. They say moss grows on the north side of trees. <gasps> forest, it grew on every side. There was no use denying it. I was absolutely, completely, totally lost! You are not the only one. And then I heard it! <laughs> <laughs> heard what? Drums.
even close. Okay, I'll try it again. One, two, one, two, three, four. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. What was it? Wild animals? A lost civilization? No, this stinking, overgrown forest. But now, I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. Wild animals or lost civilizations I could buy, but <gasps> this? No way. What, what was, was it? it? Don't ask me. I'm asleep in the truck, remember? I'll tell you what it was. It was... It was... A rock band. Hear that? She's doing it again! Day after day, week after week, year after year! Why can't you keep the bait? It isn't me! It's that woodpecker! Every time I get a good beat going, he messes me up! Stick your fingers in your ears and go la la la. If you don't find the beat, we don't get the gig. You want to spend the rest of your career playing for crickets and frogs? Frogs stopped coming a month ago. Just crickets now. Oh, and that rabbit who keeps requesting row, row, row your boat. Well, this was just what I was looking for. A bunch of people who weren't doing anything important and who would be thrilled to help me save a bunch of berrykins from a fate worse than no num-nums. Oh, and save my sister from sinking in the bottomless thingy. <sighs> Aww. So, what'd you do? What anyone who was lost in the woods would do. I called for help. Um, help! Huh? <gasps> uh huh? An, An audience! audience! Hello, hello, Here, hello! Here, Pinky and the Ponytails. She's Pinky. I'm Penny. That's Patty. Music, mirth, and merriment is our thing. So sit right down. The show starts now. Um, but I... Well, see, I'm... Is this thing on? <laughs> really good to see you here. Last concert, nobody showed up at Frogs. The gig croaked. <laughs> Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me with a little problem I have back there. See, I... heard better music the day I pogo stick to town with an accordion tied to my head. I was so out of there. Or so I thought. No, 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 no! Don't go! Show's just starting! We're just warming up! Here, we'll do one of our biggest requests. And a one, two, three, four! Row, row, row your boat, row, 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 row your boat. I mean, this was getting a bit too much. 
I was just this far from telling the Berrykins to go gather their own grub. <laughs> just a figure of speech! And then there was my sister. I mean, could I let her down? Hmm. Nah. Well, thanks for that, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever did you do? Well, what else? The only thing a hero can do in a case like this. I... I... Ran for my life! and the ponytails weren't going to catch me. <gasps> Not this graduate of the Berry Bitty Correspondence School of Super Heroics. We love to play the great outdoors. The other day, Patty pretended she was a tree. I said, then why don't you make like a tree and leave? Ha 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 ha! And one, two, three, four! <laughs> well, there I was. No way to escape. I was doomed. <laughs> How did you get out of that one? How indeed, you ask? <laughs> well, I... I... I didn't do anything. Huh? huh? I didn't know what to do. <sighs> Fresh out of ideas. Then how'd you escape? She saved me. So you're the hero. Come on, tell How'd us. You do it, sweet. Well, it's sort of hard to remember. Uh, can't blame ya. It's almost a blur to me too. Well, there I was. In more misery than the day I had nothing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner but Brussels sprouts and lima beans. When all of a sudden we heard it. Hey. Who's playing that, oh yeah, great beat! It was my sister, Sweet. Woke up from her nap and was waiting for me to return. <laughs> well, Sweet's beat just beat that woodpecker all to pieces. And Pinky and the Ponytails found their beat. There was just one more problem to take care of. Pinky and the Ponytails found their beat, and the Berrykins got their dinner. That's great! What a great story! Wonderful! So everything ended happily. Yeah, it was, uh... Why, yes! Pinky and the Ponytails had a hit record and, um, became mega stars, and they were so grateful that they changed their name to... Two sweets and a sour.
adventure story you told. I'd like to write up a version of it sometime. A tale of twins in the very deep, dark forest. No such place. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I gotta get back to work. What was that? My instructional camping video. No, what did you mean by no such place? It's just that everywhere I've been, and I've been almost everywhere there is to go, I've never heard a very deep, dark forest. Yeah? Well, maybe you got a better story? Ooh, I don't know. I think Sour and Sweet's adventure would be hard to top. Oh, I could top it. Easy peasy. Then why don't you? Here, stay with us. Tell us a story. Yeah! yeah. Come on, Apple. We want to hear about your big adventure that's more exciting, uh, thrilling, and daring than the one Sour and Sweet just told. Okay, I'll just make it quick. Well, this story, it was the kind of thing that happens to me all the time. I'm sure. Well, it was... Adventure! Thrills! Danger! That's my life, don't you know? This particular time, I was reporting on the Berry Bitty Great Race for my Berry Best Bits travel page. The four-leg course was an equestrian-style cross-country, a mountain climb, a hot air balloon race, and a sailboat race. Of course, to report it, <laughs> I had to enter it. Ah, thank you, Tea Time. Riders to your mouth! <gasps> These are the moments an adventurer lives for. <laughs> Contestants were already mounted on their steeds. I gave them a sportsmanly nod of encouragement. <gasps> Little did I know, they had no intention of behaving in a sporting way. There were Mr. McSnivels, Guava Guttersnipe, and Cruddy Do No Good. I felt there was something oddly sinister in the way they smiled back at me. But I paid it no mind at the time. Look at her. Not enough. She's won 199 races. She has to make it 200. Greed, I tell you, greed! Wretched girl! And her little turtle, too! This time, she'll never reach the finish line. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Or do no good about it. The sun in your face, the wind in your hair, the power of your noble steed leaping over every obstacle. What happened next, Apple? Yes, then what? Well, Tea Time and I were doing great. Way ahead of the pack. <laughs> ahead already? What a surprise. Nah, it wasn't any surprise. It looked like things were gonna turn out exactly like the other 199 races I'd won. But then, all of a sudden, without any warning, dastardly deeds threatened to thwart my stellar performance. What I didn't know was evil doings were afoot. No rabbit can resist it! Apple Dumplin's chance to win is doomed! <laughs> Genius, Mr. McSnibbles! Pure G... Uh, just really smart! Thank you, Miss Guttersnipe! Suddenly, out of nowhere, my noble 
deed was out of control. Ah! I was about to find out why. It was broccoli! Come on, boy. Please, we have a race to win. Oh, well, tea time. Sorry to say, but it looks like we're doomed. <laughs> Victory is ours! Tea time. A rabbit will take a carrot over broccoli any day of the week. Curses! Foiled! We can go to sleep now. Afraid not. These bad guys, they were really bad. And they were just getting warmed up. of geometry and mechanical engineering, I figured out just what to do. This one. <gasps> Curses! Foiled again! The villains! <laughs> what a couple of cheaters they were! Unbelievable! I mean, incredible! I mean, that's really obnoxious. I hope that was the last you saw of them. Um, not quite. Here, Apple, try some hot chocolate. Mmm, that's really good! Okay, well, what happened next? Did you win the race? Yeah, what do you mean, not quite? Ugh, you mean there's more? Oh, yeah. Did Gutter Snipe and McSnivels come back? They did indeed. Because their dastardly deeds in the cross-country race were only the beginning of their, um, dastardliness. Relax, Tea Time. We just gotta get to the top, down the other side, fly a hot air balloon to the lake and sail across it to the finish line. Easy peasy. Always going swimmingly, or should I say climbingly, when out of a blue and sunny sky, we were hit by a blizzard. What I didn't know at the time was, it wasn't a blizzard at all. It looked like we were doomed. Until, all of a sudden, I spotted shelter. What was that? The legendary abominable snow beast of very big peak. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Some may have trembled in fear. Some may have fled for their very lives. Not me. No matter what the cost, I had to find out what it was. Well, what was it? What did you find? Weren't you afraid? Me? <laughs> Terrified. Farther and farther, we ventured into the darkness, not knowing what sort of beast we would encounter.
For the love of Lederhosen, who are you? I'm Apple Dumplin' and this is Tea Time Turtle. We're competing in the very bitty great race. I'm Ilsa and this is my twin sister Elsa. Do you yodel? Do I what? Yodel. Like this. Yole, yole, yole. Wait! We agreed to yodel always in the key of B flat. Ah, says you, it was the key of C. B flat. C. B flat. C. Um, excuse me. Perhaps this key would work for both of you. Bless my strudel, a D sharp person. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, shall we try? And the one, and the two. Yole, yole, yole. My goodness gracious, we rocked! <laughs> <laughs> There's the balloon launch! You better get over there. You are in first place. You want to keep it that way, yeah? Well, this tunnel turned out to be kind of a shortcut, so I think I better wait until the rest of the contestants catch up. Only fair. Ugh, oh, sauerkraut, who will know? You could get a big head start. A race is only fun if it's fair. Come on, Tea Time. We'll wait at the balloon launch. Good luck, Apple Dumpling. And remember, wherever you go, keep yodeling. A race is only fun if it's fair. That's what I told him. So you can imagine my shock to find Cruddy do no good, doing no good. What'd she do? What was it? Untying all the balloons so she wouldn't have any competition. Hey, you can't do that. It's not fair. <clears throat> fair schmear. <sighs> See if I care. <laughs> she did it. Ridiculous. May I continue? Oh, oh yes! yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Morning or noonin' or afternoonin'. Welcome to Fern Fron's Tropical Fruit Stand. I'm Fern Fron, but you can call me Fern, friend. Nice to meet you, friend. Fern, uh, I'm Apple Dumplin', and I'm competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. Ooh, 
you're about a mountain off course. I saw some real treachery going on up there in the sky. Could it be someone wasn't playing nice with others? Hmm, pretty much, yeah. Hmm, sorry about that. How about a frozen banana chocolate pop? A fern frond specialty. Actually, would it be possible for me to purchase this banana peel? Certainly, but what would you want with that? Uh, huh. looks like you've got someone who doesn't play well with others heading your way. Peel? Sure thing. Come on, tea time. They're gaining on us. <gasps> hey, why, that's, that's stealing. Stealing, schmealing. After that peeling. Hey, that's stealing too. That's right. One bad. Good. In all my days as head official of the Berry Bitty Great Race, never have I seen the level of treachery and dastardliness that you have displayed today. Wait, it's true. You never have seen, because you weren't there. You didn't see us. How do you know we did those dastardly villainy things we did? Uh, you say we did. I'm with Cruddy. Where are your witnesses? Witnesses, you say? Allow me to introduce you to our race rule monitors. You think we just sit around all day and yodel? We've been keeping an eye on you. <gasps> and it wasn't just bad deeds they were monitoring either. Apple Dumpling? For winning the race, and most importantly, for your good sportsmanship, I award you... First prize! What a great <laughs> story! <laughs> what great imagination! Apple's a tall tale natural! Good job, Apple. Gotta admit, that was the best story yet. Huh, you win first prize for imagination. Imagination? What do you mean? I didn't make it up. Every word was true! <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Sure it was. Tea time? My scrapbook, please. Thank you. Wow! 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 Wait, you mean that story you told really was real? Well, sure. Wasn't yours? No. no. We made it up. What? Why? It's our campout tradition. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows, hot chocolates, sitting around the campfire telling tall tales. We do it every year. Didn't you hear us talking about telling tall tales? Uh, no. I guess I was working on my camping video and I missed it. <laughs> you didn't miss it, because you told a great story. Well, if I can make up a story, Bitty great race is nothing compared to what I could tell in a tall tale. Ooh, <laughs> that's that's it. It. But as 
it stands now. I'd say sour and sweet win first prize for imagination. Thanks, but you can't give this to us. No, no, it's okay. I've won 200 of them. In fact, did I ever tell you about the trans-desert treasure of the Lost Pyramid Road Rally? No, but um, what about your video project? Ah, that can wait. We're on a camp out. I want to do what you guys are doing. Great! Let me heat up more hot chocolate. Any more marshmallows? Well, there I was, in the middle of the greatest sandstorm to hit the desert in years. <laughs> Strawberry! Thank you! Glad I could help. This is a present for Blueberry for reading us our favorite story at story time. Your favorite story? <gasps> favorite story? Wait, which is your favorite story? Huh. Beauty and the Berrykin Beast? Nah, Berrykins are too cute to play beasts. The Berry Sleepy Berrykin Princess. Huh. Hiya, Plum. Uh, I'm still trying to find the perfect berry fairy tale to do as a surprise play for the Berrykin kids. Well, I just heard they have a favorite story. They do? Which one is it? Wait, don't tell me. Is it Goldilocks and the Three Berrykins? I'm not. Wait, wait. The Berry Frog Prince? Uh, no, but I... Wait, I, I know this, I know. Uh, uh, it's Little Redberry Riding Hood. Um... Jack and the Berry Stock? I don't... Uh, I give up. Which story is it? I don't know. What? I thought you said the baby bearkins have a favorite story. Well, they do. I just don't know which one it is. Oh, well, we can't ask them. It'll spoil the surprise. How do we find out? <gasps> I think I know who to ask. Bye, bye, <laughs> See you next time. Thank you for the very beautiful berry. Strawberry? I got your text. <laughs> I just read them their favorite berry fairy tale today. It's the littlest berrykin. <laughs> of course you can borrow it. Come on over. And they lived happily ever after. I love it! So cute! I've never heard that story before. Do you know if there's ever been a play version of it published? Let's do a search. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see that there has. Well, could you and Huck adapt this story to a play for me? Of course! Oh, this is I'm gonna so be great! Excited, Huck. I know just the berry fairy tale to turn into a play. So, welcome all to the first reading of our version of The Littlest Berrykin. Use your imaginations to picture the story. Imagine our stage and a backdrop like this. The narrator begins. Orange, this will be your part. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen, played by me and Blueberry. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics, but before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to yeah. rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you are best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh, it's hot. I'm roasting out here. Sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Vespolina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness. Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. <laughs> Your turn, Strawberryta. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Oh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Well, I love berries. I've never heard such nonsense. Ooh. Well oh, done. You did. Oh, so <laughs> Thank you. I think 
she cheated. My thoughts exactly. Luminella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Razbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. <laughs> you uh... are such a dunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. Oh. There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. And so the impatient princesses, Lemonella and Rasbelina, asked the king and queen if they had come to a decision. <laughs> huh? Who, who are you? What? <laughs> well, what you waiting for? Have you decided to give the kingdom to me, or what? <gasps> Is that any way to speak to your royal parents? Uh, whatever. Hmm. How should we speak anyway? Good afternoon, Your Majesties. Like your sister, Princess Strawberrita. She's always so respectful. She cheats at croquet. Yes, that's right. She sure does. <gasps> now, Princesses, your mother and I have made a decision. <sighs> it's about time. Give me that crown. <gasps> Do you mind? <clears throat> Our decision is this. <clears throat> Whichever one of you can bring us back the Royal Goldenberry will be awarded the kingdom. What? Royal Golden Who? Uh, well, I never! It's Better get started. It's a long idea. and challenging journey to find the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> well, what are you waiting for? Go fetch me that berry. Don't listen to her. Go fetch me the berry. The berry is mine, so mine it must be. Perhaps you weren't listening, my dear daughters. You must fetch the royal golden berry yourselves. You each may bring only one berry kin in waiting with you. <sighs> oh. You! That's right, you! <coughs> Step lively, you're coming with me. Y yes, your highness. That's your royal highness to you, buster. Um, yep, sure thing. Anything you say, your your high royalness, royal highness. You there. Let's get going. Excuse me, your royal highness. I'd be happy to help you find the royal golden berry, but you might not want me because everyone knows <laughs> I'm the littlest berrykin. Littlest Barrican, I would be honored if you would help me. And so, each accompanied by their Barrican in waiting, the princesses set off on their journey. A journey that is sure to reveal who is real ruler material. The princesses are soon confronted by the first in a series of challenges. The road through the berry patch is blocked by a toll gate guarded by a troll gatekeeper. Uh, the troll will be played by Barricade Blue. Uh, diamonds, jack of diamonds, <laughs> snarls and flea bites. What I need is a queen. But oh no, that won't work now. <gasps> hey, what's the big idea? Well, now, you see, a uh, toll. Please. Look here, troll. Do you know who we are? I am Princess Raspolina. And I am Princess Lemonella. You must do as we say. Raise that bar. Let us pass. I command you as a royal princess. That's right. Mm. Do as you're told, toll troll. But you must pay the toll. Listen, toll who takes the troll. I order you to do as we say. Mm, oh my. In all my days as the troll who takes the toll, have I ever been treated in such a rude and unbecoming manner. The haughty princesses huff and puff and kick at the ground like goats, snorting and barking in an ever so unbecoming manner, and still refuse to pay the toll to the troll. <laughs> 
They say... Who needs your silly road anyway? We will find our own way! And what do you suppose? But they got stuck in a bramble bush. The troll who takes the toll could hear the princesses doing all kinds of mean and nasty yelling from the bramble bush. Hmm. Very unfitting for princesses indeed. Brian, please interfere! Not another one. Oh, my! A toll booth. Mm, what shall I do? I cannot pay the toll. Well, we'll have to go around. If you don't mind a suggestion? Not at all, little Asparagin. Maybe if you ask the troll nicely? Excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. I haven't a token, but I have a long journey and don't know any other way through the berry patch. If you let me through, I promise to return another time and pay you the toll. Well, that's more like it. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, sir. Ever so kindly. <laughs> thank you, and come again. Presently, Princess Strawberryta and the littlest berrykin arrived at a vast lake with no way across. But the littlest Berrykin happened to notice a boat Berrykin, who will be played by Princess Berrykin, pulled up at the dock. You must be hungry, littlest Berrykin. Perhaps we should have our picnic here, then walk around the lake. If you wouldn't mind a suggestion? Of course not. Perhaps if you offer to share our lunch with the captain, she'll take us across the lake in her boat. That's a very nice idea. We should share our lunch with her either way. <sighs> Huh? Huh? Ahoy! Huh? I hope we didn't wake you, ma'am. Why no, me lasses. Just taking a wee nap. I am Strawberryta, and this is the littlest berrykin. Would you like to share our picnic? It's such a nice day for one. Arr! And that's mighty generous of you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Myrtle Berries, how are we supposed to get across this lake? Let's order that scroungy old captain to take us. Good idea. I had that idea too. I just didn't say it as fast as you. Hmm. Ahoy, me hearties. Ahoy, your highnesses, don't you mean? Highness or lowness making a difference to me. I just had a lunch when I make a salty sea captain do a hornpipe on a yard arm. Arr! So, have you brought me dinner? Dinner? My daddy the king will feed you to the fishes if you don't take us across this lake in your boat, if you can call that a boat, at once. Oh, <gasps> shiver me timbers! Belay that talk! You lovers be in your long clothes dressing me about. We are royal princesses. Get a move on. What be ye doing in me vessel, you rap scallion? Did I give you permission to come aboard? Arr! What kind of rig you trying to run? And you don't even offer me any grub, like that charming lass what set sail to yon far shore for ye. Arr! Oh, no! Huh? Oh, did you hear that, Rasbolina? Strawberryta was here ahead of us. Mm, sour berries. If you took her across, you simply have to take us. Arg! What care I if ye be marooned? I'm tardy for a game of darts at the jib and topsail. Gangway, ye horn swabbers! Wait! Come back! Now what? You two clowns, get in here and row us across. Uh, but that's stealing. That boat doesn't belong to us. We are princesses. Everything belongs to us. Now get in. Huh? Uh -uh. Move over. I want to sit in front. Oh, there's no room for you.
Anakin. It's the royal goldenberry. Ooh, pretty. This is going to be very difficult. These poor plants, they need water. Your Highness, if you wouldn't mind another suggestion. Please, come with me. Look, the royal golden berry. Royal raspberries, we got here before Strawberita. Well, Go up there and get it for me. For you? You mean for me. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Chop, chop. Chop, chop. <gasps> I know. Uh, hey, I said chop, chop. It's my idea. Get out of my way. Uh, Your Highness, we're all ones. We don't treat berry plants that way. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Crumbs. The Royal Highnesses, Your Majesties. Mommy, it's not fair. <laughs> it's all her fault. She told me to go around the toll booth. It was my barricade in waiting. She wouldn't do what I told her. I want a do-over. Yes, we demand a do-over. Now, daughters, calm down. Have either of you the Royal Goldenberry? Well done, Strawberita. Ever so clever of you, darling. Aw! In each of your challenges, you showed kindness, generosity, and resourcefulness. All virtues becoming to a ruler of a kingdom. She cheated! She didn't show any of those... those... things! Yeah! Things! Whatever! She cheated! We know! We were there! As was I! The troll who takes the toll was kind enough to give us a report of your behavior. Lemonella, Rasbolina, I am ashamed by your lack of manners. He wasn't even there when we had to cross the lake. Oh, <gasps> but I was. <gasps> Toss me overboard and sink me. It's pure bilge they speak. These two swabs were very rude. Well, Princess Strawberryta was a sweet lass who shared her lunch with a sea dog. I'd scupper those two scallywags and promote this lass to captain. I... Uh, excuse me, Your Majesties, but I cannot take credit for the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> <gasps> you see, there was someone who guided me all along the way and gave me good advice, and that was the littlest barricade. This royal goldenberry should belong to you. <gasps> Who? What? Who are you? I am the royal goldenberry fairy, and I know everything about you, Princess Strawberryta. You are not only kind, giving, and clever, and humble. Did I mention honest? Well, honest, too. 
By giving credit where credit is due, you have passed the final test and proved that it is <gasps> you who are worthy to rule the kingdom. <laughs> Aw, we are been really spoiled! Hmm. Well, darling, it's off to the islands. Oh, oh, I, oh I can help you with that. Oh, 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 wow, oh, 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 no problem at all. Well, okay. My beloved royal subjects, my first royal decree is to promote the littlest barricade to royal counselor. <laughs> and so, the littlest barricade proved that it doesn't matter how little you are, you can still do very big things. And so... Under the kind, generous, wise, and humble rule of Queen Strawberita, the kingdom flourished and everybody lived... Very happily ever after! Well, not quite everybody. You told me we'd reach a stellar kingdom run by a knockout prince by nightfall, and it's getting dark now! I said no such thing! That was your idea! It wasn't! I'm hungry! It was! This is your fault and your fault only! Strawberry Shortcake She's a very baby girl with very big possibilities And fruit-filled fun is the secret to her recipe She may be small, her task is too tall She'll be a best friend, just give her a call Strawberry She's a very baby girl with big possibilities She may be small, but no task is too tall For Strawberry Shortcake Delivery for Barrick and Bruce. Oh, he's on a break. We'll take it. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks, <laughs> oh, <my> Alex. <laughs> wow, it's from Barry Big City Motor Parts. <laughs> oh, bouncing berries. This is what the boss has been waiting for the new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, oh what a great job! <laughs> Get to work. We'll have cherry jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. Oh, I didn't realize so much we're gonna miss her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> it's the boss. <laughs> This hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Whoa! <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your 
Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I, because what if it's, if it's not, what if she says, who? Raspberry, the dog trainer? Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well, darling, are you sitting down? Because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Berry Big City Firefly Convention. <laughs> that you don't know that's what would happen and you won't know till you call yeah well maybe later i can wait well we can't but our our game <laughs> the game can wait she might make you a fashion star think of the fame the fortune <gasps> the bands oh uh hello yes this is a raspberry tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes! Uh, well, I guess... Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she... Uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate... Right away, and talk about... Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> Cherry, you have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed. Look at you. Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? What part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Berry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Berry Big City? Uh, we should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm, what's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know, and you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both. Better to be prepared. Good luck. Oh, wow, Raspberry. Have fun. I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck. Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you, do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in a few days. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, muffin 
crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. I ripped my dress. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry will sew that up in... Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me... My own design studio? <gasps> My own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. Make way for the future fashion star of Very Big City, the fabulous Raspberry. She eats up the fashion scene. Oh dear. I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look! It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, I can't wait to see that show. What a... Welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blad Scarlet Cummerbunds! Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends and... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll, Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleaded Paisley, you poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Da -da -da. Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... but this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, ra, raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Oh, uh, hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> what 
whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Rawr. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Uh, wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No, no guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. Oh, this will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time We know you gotta go and live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our memories Without you, the sun won't shine as bright. Without you, things won't seem just right. We'll be so blue when you moved away. Without you, nothing will be the same. Without you, we won't feel complete. Without you, there's a missing piece. It's so said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. And I miss the raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. <laughs> Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is?
strawberry is? Oh, rice. <laughs> That's where we're going. <gasps> the Berry Bitty City Boat Race. <gasps> I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Uh, wait, if it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. <laughs> Raspberry, glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party? Oh, oh I oh, no. Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind, wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. you hard. 
but I wanted to take a moment before our dress rehearsal tonight to thank you for the marvelous job everyone is doing. I know our production of Barryella and Prince Barry Charming is gonna be a delightful surprise for our baby Berrykins. Strawberry, you are doing a very fine job as Barryella. <laughs> oh, still, Breeze. Oh, sorry, Berry Fairy Fashion Mother. Raspberry, you are also doing a wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you, Plum. Lemon, our makeup artist hairstylist, and our writer Blueberry as Barryella's mean and jealous stepsister. <laughs> yeah. Our stage manager, Orange. <laughs> and our fabulous music director, Cherry Jam. <laughs> Hi. Thanks. Oh, and where is our Prince Berry Charming? Hi, Berry Can Tim? You what? Oh no! You did? You didn't. Well, that's terrible. You get some rest and don't worry about a thing. That was Berry Can Tim. Prince Berry Charming is now Prince Berry Limping. He broke his toe playing Kick the Apricot Pit. He's gonna be on crutches for three weeks. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Great! And I just finished his costume. There aren't any other Berrykins in town as tall as Too Tall Timmy. Oh, now, I wouldn't say that. Whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> hey, hey, wait! Hold on! Help! Ah. <laughs> I told you to let her lead. Guys, you were absolutely marvelous. How fast can you do a rewrite? Barryella and Prince Barry on a long trip won't be back till next fall. Instead of a rewrite, how about a re-cast? Huh? Hi, it's Blueberry. Hey, Blueberry. How's everything in Berry Bitty City? Splendid, splendid. We're putting on a play. Wow, great. Give me a call when it opens. I'd love to come down and see it. Well, I was wondering if you'd like to be in it? Me? Huh. You want me to be in your play? Uh, I've never done any acting. I don't know. What would I have to do? Well, you'd be one of the stars. But what would I have to do? It's a terrific role. He's handsome, suave, debonair. But what do I have to do? Oh, well, you know, memorize some lines and say them. It's really fun. Please? Yeah! yeah. Please! <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. I, uh... Whoa, <laughs> you're all there. Strawberry? She's at the cafe, making lunch for the rehearsal. Every member of the cast and crew gets a catered lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Well, uh, if you really want me to. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Huck. I'll email a script. See you as soon as you can get here. Okay. We have a Prince Berry Charming! <laughs> but, but, everyone in the land is invited to the first ball of the season. Why, why can't I go? Why, you have nothing fitting to wear. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> but couldn't I borrow something of yours? Oh, the idea! Sister, do you hear her? Our vile stepsister has the nerve to demand one of my frocks. <laughs> oh, now I shall never dance with Prince Berry Charming. I... Oh, muffin crumbs. That's not in the script. No, I spilled. Speak not such nonsensical buffoonery. <laughs> oh, hi, Huck. No, I didn't mean you. We're rehearsing the play. Great, I'll tell them. Uh, no, we're at the cafe, getting dinner for the cast and crew. We'll be at the theater in two... No, three minutes. Excellent. See you there. 
Oh, and thanks again, Huck. I can't tell you what this means to us. You're a real prince. <laughs> He's ten minutes from town. Oh, it's so great he wanted to do it. Oh, he couldn't wait. Of course, the idea of having your lunches and dinners is what sealed the deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's everything. Shall we get this show on the road? Charming doesn't show up soon. This whole production's gonna turn into a pumpkin. I've saved dinner for Huck. Whenever he gets here. Didn't he say he was... Yeah. Said he was ten minutes away. That was hours ago! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Finally! Oh, he's very charming! Okay! May I present our very own Prince Barry Charming! <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> no, really, I, uh... <laughs> thanks, but I'm so sorry. I was almost here and realized I had left the script you emailed me at home. Had to turn all the way around, go all the way back, and... Well, I thought you'd all be asleep by now. We were. And dreaming of our Prince Barry Charming. Hey, well, <laughs> Charming, that's me, I guess. Hmm. The play's <laughs> great. Nice writing, Blueberry. Thank you, Huck. Coming from a great writer like you, I'm... well, thank you. And I've been practicing my lines. I... uh... Mm? Hi, Raspberry. What? Taking your measurements. <clears throat> Taking your measurements. For your costume? Me? That's me? It's going to be you when I get done with... <clears throat> when the costume is finished. A little makeup, a little work on the hair, and presto! Even you won't know you. <laughs> <laughs> well, charming. That's me. So, how about we rehearse the scene where Barriella meets Prince Barry Charming for the first time? I know that one. The scene where I say, Good evening, and may a humble prince ask who is this enchanting lady? <gasps> Whoa! You memorized your lines already? Well, pretty much, yeah. Excellent! Okay, Huck, right here. Bariella, you'll be entering. You see the prince. The prince will see Bariella. Mm -hmm. You're a prince. Yep. Regal. Right. Charming, but not snooty. Yes. Aristocratic, but not arrogant. Yep. You are going to impress her. Got it. Mood music! You're on. Hmm. Good evening. And may a humble prince ask just who's this enchanting oh. lady? Huh? How's that? <gasps> Different. I'd even say unique. I think uh, we want to relax into the character. Oh. Yes. It's just an everyday ball. Sure. You go to balls all the time. Yes. No big deal for a prince like you. Got it. Hi. So, good evening. And may a humble prince ask who is this enchanting <gasps> lady? <gasps> Interesting. <laughs> Got an idea. Evening, ma'am. Another idea. Good evening. Good evening. Ow! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My fault. Good evening. This is your humble prince asking the question. <gasps> Who is this enchanting lady? It's gonna be a long night. Prince Barry Charming, I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal... Cut the music! Uh-huh. It's okay. It's all right. I'm kind of thinking that 
isn't what Beriella would feel for the prince at this moment. No, it's what I was feeling for my <sighs> feet. I was stepping on them. Huh? See, I, uh, don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to dance. Oh, well, no problem. Hmm. Our choreographer will have you waltzing in no time. Who's that? Me. Music! <laughs> That's good. You're eek. Getting it just, yeah. Maybe not so eek. If you could just, yeah. Cut the music! I see what you mean. Another idea. Well, he's getting better, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I've had worse students. Not many, but some. Don't worry. I'll learn it. I'll learn it. You know it's late. How about we break? Everything will mm -hmm. go better after a good night's sleep. You're right, Strawberry. Everyone's been working really hard. Let's call it a night. I'll practice my dancing in the morning. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Blueberry, huh? did you say he really wanted to do this? Oh, yeah, he couldn't wait. I mean, I was excited. I'm pretty sure he was too. Why? It's just, he doesn't seem to be having a good time. I mean, this is supposed to be fun. Well, what do you think? Will it do? Yeah, I guess it'll have to. I think it'll make a great Barriella coach. Are you sure you looked everywhere? I'm telling you, Ed, there isn't a pumpkin to be had. It's just not pumpkin season, you see. Yeah. Okay. What? What is it? How do we get it to the stage? Strawberry. Morning, Huck. How's the practicing going? Really great. A little more practice and your feet will be safe at the dress rehearsal tonight. <laughs> 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 no, you'll be fine. We'll have fun. Are you having fun? Oh, well, sure. Wouldn't want to let you all down, would I? It's really good of you to do this for us. But we wouldn't want you to do it if it didn't feel comfortable for you. And fun. You know? Oh, sure. Of course. <laughs> well, don't wear out your feet before dress rehearsal tonight. And run that way. Uh, sure. Yeah, okay. I'll direct from outside. Uh, hey, hey, wait! Hold on! And you're off. Uh, can you try to be your left a little? What's that? I can't. Help! <laughs> Rehearsal, it was 20. Tell you what, let's take a break from dancing. 
Great. Cherry can run through your song with you. Song? Yeah! <laughs> How do you like Barryella's pumpkin coach? I love it. Plum? Except it looks like a watermelon. It is a watermelon. Pumpkins are out of season, but no problem. One pumpkin coming up. We'll have her finished before the curtain rises and Ed says, giddy up. <laughs> a watermelon? What else can go wrong? Plum? Yes? There's something I should tell you. Did you hear? The prince is searching... Uh, the entire... Uh, searching the entire land for the girl who left the ball at midnight last night. <gasps> Does he know who she is? Blueberry! Oh, hi, Plum. Just bringing lunch over now. Huh? You're kidding. Okay. I'll tell them. The Prince Charming song is out. Huck can't sing. You both look great, if I do say so myself. No, huh? don't worry. You know what they say. Bad dress rehearsal, great show. Or is it bad dress rehearsal, bad show? Just remember, no matter what happens, the show must go on. We'll be fine. Just have fun. Hmm? At least there's nobody here to see me if I mess up. Oh, no. That's not till tomorrow night. The place uh, will be packed. It will? Sure. We're giving the show for all the Barrican kids. Y you mean there's going to be an, an audience? Of course. That's the whole point. Okay, you ready, Huck? 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 Oh, no. Curtain's going up. Uh, what's with him? Worst case of stage fright I've ever seen. He can't move. What'll we do? The show must go on. Oh, Prince Berry Charming. I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal ball. Here, at this royal ball. Why, thank you, Barriella. And may I say that you dance divine, divine, divinely. You dance divinely. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the girls in the land. You know what we say at the castle. If the hat fits, wear it. Let me try it on first. No, me first. Me! And now, now, patience, please. Tisk, tisk, tisk. I am sorry. It seems that you are not the one I danced with at last night's ball. What do you think? Is it working? Working is... isn't... Well, it isn't the word I would have chosen. Hmm. So... What does everybody want to hear for tonight's story time? I know. Because tomorrow night you're all having a special surprise, how about I read you Fairy Yella and Prince Fairy Charming? Aww. We hope it in a belly Oh, oh my goodness. Excuse me. I've got to make a phone call. Don't worry, Huck. Maybe performing just isn't your best thing. You know, like, writing isn't my best thing. Really, huh? Excuse me, Huck. Hello? Hi, Blueberry. What? Mm -hmm. Don't be sorry. It's actually not such bad news as you might think. Uh, thank you, Blueberry. I'll call you later. Listen, Huck, we have a problem I think you might be able to help us with. Does it involve acting, dancing, or singing? <laughs> Well, I just found out Barryella and Berry Prince Charming isn't the Berrykin Kid's favorite story. Uh -huh. Do you think you and Blueberry could write a different play for us? Now that'd be something I'd like to co-star in. Okie dokie. That'll do it. One pumpkin coach at your service. Uh, 
Can you make sure you put a pumpkin coach in the new play? <laughs> <laughs> Batter basics and basics of very flawless baking. I am certain you are prepared for today's class. Creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! on! I've got our ingredients: flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, an apple fragrance. Mmm. Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. <gasps> hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. Oh, what is it? It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness. Well, all right then. Everyone step up. Go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon, grape, no, oh, uh, strawberry, and yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a scent sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. <clears throat> this sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Blue! Day with a ceremony in his honor. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Barrack and Bloom, after all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my Betty Orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Oh, what a great 
great idea! What could we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Sherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea! Perfect, Raspberry! I love it! But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know! Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun! That's perfect! Great idea, Strawberry! Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce for my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever! Now, how to make this cupcake special for Barrican Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh, no! My jam! Where'd it go? Cupcake? Oh, those were all the jars I had. Oh, you're gonna have a tummy ache for sure. And I'm gonna have to restock all the jam in my cafe. giant banana. It's for my cupcake. Your cupcake? Why don't you just use a bitty banana? I mean, you can't fit all that banana into a little cupcake. Who said anything about a little cupcake? You mean, exactly how big is your cupcake going to be? I don't know, but Orange is making a huge one. She's using bags and bags of flour. Oh, you must have just misunderstood. Look at my cupcake. It's normal-sized. I'm sure she's baking one just like it. After all, how much cupcake can Barrican Bloom eat? Hi, guys! How about the cupcake I made for Barrican Bloom? Bouncing boysenberries, Orange! That's very gigantic! I know! <laughs> Isn't it great? Great? That's the hugest cupcake I've ever seen! Well, don't you think Barrack and Bloom deserves the most special cupcakes we can bake? Did someone mention my name? Yeah! Let's hide! It's Barrack and Bloom! Ah, there you are, Miss Strawberry. Oh, <laughs> yep, here we are. Doing uh, nothing secret at all. That's right. Uh, not at all. We have nothing to hide. Did you ladies need me for something? I thought I heard my name. Nope, not me. Uh, not at all. Nuh-uh. Uh, you must have been someone else. Have a lovely day. Well, then, I suppose I'll be on my way, too. That is a very fine banana you have there, young lady. A very fine banana, indeed. Taking it out for some exercise. Come along, Waldo. Time to finish your walk. I never thought of exercising the produce. Or naming it. 
I suppose Waldo is a lovely name for a banana. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. See you around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was too close. He almost found out our surprise. We've got to keep him away. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Keep him busy, I guess. But we're all too busy to keep him busy. We are, but I know someone who isn't. Wait, you want me to what? Just keep Barrack and Bloom busy. We can't let him see us making cupcakes. It'll spoil the surprise. We need a diversion. A diversion? That's a fancy way of saying distraction or keeping him busy. But how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Think of something. You're both guys. Why don't you do guy things? Guy things? I don't know. Like what? You're the guy. Figure it out. Hello there. <gasps> Here he comes now. A very fine day to you, young ladies. Why, Mr. Huckleberry, what brings you to town? Uh, guy things. Like, uh, running. <laughs> and shouting. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, my stars. What an unexpected development. Well, that seemed kind of extreme. I hope Eric and Bloom will be okay. Sure he will. He's a guy. They like that stuff. What matters is that he's not around to see our cupcakes. About those cupcakes. Yes, about those cupcakes, Orange. That one you made was huge. That's right, and it wasn't that big. And I'm not going to make Barrack and Bloom just any old cupcake. He deserves something special. Yes, but what's important is... What's important is that if you make a huge cupcake, ours will seem kind of bitty in comparison. Good point. But really... All I know is that I'm not skimping on mine. <sighs> well, it's up to you what kind of cupcake you want to make. But just remember... Uh, there are a lot of things that make a cupcake great. Don't well, I... then, I'm going to have to redo mine. For Maybe example, I can team up with the them. Or a well, if Blueberry's Nor making a bigger the cupcake, too, then mine will be bigger, salt. too. And the presentation. Oh, no. I have a feeling this is going to be the very biggest, very baddest bake-off ever. There. My friends might be baking colossal cupcakes, but I'm sure Barrick and Bloom will be more than happy with this one. Won't he? Oh, maybe Orange is right, Pupcake. Barrick and Bloom is special, so he deserves a really special cupcake. But how can I make a more special cupcake without getting carried away? Oh. <laughs> you may not have all the answers, but you sure are cute. <laughs> hey! That's it! I'll make a Pupcake Cupcake. <laughs> It'll be the cutest cupcake you've ever seen. Stay right there. Okay, now stay still. Oh, you're right, Pupcake. It's not what I had hoped for. But you didn't really help by moving around so much. <laughs> oh, now what am I going to do? Of course! Oh, Custard, please come back. It'll be fun! There! Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. <laughs> Whoa! What do you think? I had to change my recipe to make it this big, but isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... Oh, I must have added too much plaster. Plaster? Well, I don't know how to make it delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. 
<gasps> hey! You guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you. Frosting licking. Can me you! <laughs> Yes. So that activity is what you would refer to as zip lining? Wasn't it fun? Uh, well, I... Uh... It's just one of the many activities in the, uh, gentlemen's diversion club. Yeah. Goodness, Mr. Huckleberry, this club seems quite rough and tumble. Only the roughest and tumblest for gentlemen like us. Uh, now, when was this club established? It's after me! Ah! It's very old and established. We better keep diverting. I know another diversion, which I know you'll enjoy. To the lake! Yeah! <laughs> the lake. What a wonderful suggestion. I can't think of a more tranquil spot to sit back and marvel at the glory of nature all around us. Yet still, I can't help but wonder why my feet are strapped to these boards. I knew he'd love water skiing. Looking good, Barrican Bloom. Well, you were anyway. Okay, another diversion. Think. I know. Are you certain that this is enjoyable? As enjoyable as anything else I could all of a sudden think of. Have fun! Okay, now tackle me. Tackle you? I'm not even sure I know how to go about that. Is this necessary for the gentleman's diver diversion club? Yes, very necessary. <laughs> oh, uh, ah, do, whoa, do, whoa. Uh, duh. oh dear, I, I do hope that wasn't too extreme. Are you all right? I'm fine. Cherry, just an hour to go till the big ceremony. All I need to do is put up a few more, you know, streamers, balloons, and more streamers, and then what in the very bitty world? I thought you guys were just making regular old cupcakes, but this, a giant beehive, a circus, a volcano? Well, the lava is strawberry jam, and the rocks are sugar. At least it should taste good. How could you all get so carried away? Well, I tried making a pupcake cupcake, but that didn't work. Then I tried a custard cupcake, and, well, that didn't work either. So uh, one thing led to another, and... Oh, perhaps I've lost my focus on what's important here. Ready to see the most special cupcake? Bring it in, boy! Did you even build it? I had a little help from Ed and Earl. Yep. <laughs> and we used only the finest spare parts and lumber, plus 50 yards of fencing wire. I, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't taste the cake part. Oh, but the frosting's delicious. And wait till you see this. Guys? <laughs> Isn't this the best cupcake you've ever eaten? What's wrong with it? I don't know! Well, how come 
use a fork in a gearbox? Uh, cause I was all done eating frosting. Look out! It's going out of <laughs> Let's work together to clean this mess up. Yeah! There we go. Good as new. So sad. <laughs> but at least I can still smell cupcakes. Cupcakes? Oh, dear. Never much cared for them. I'm more of a fruit and veggie man myself. Bear can bloom. Huckleberry, what... what happened to you? Well, it's like this. You see, we were jumping in mud puddles, and then we got kind of lost all night, and then we wandered into a brambleberry thicket, and... Oh! The ceremony's starting! You better get up there! The royal rutabaga. I am deeply honored, Princess Mary Kit. And I am honored and full of gratitude to have this day named after me and, and this park. Oh, why, I've never seen this park so clean. However, I must say, the last day has been most unusual. Most unusual indeed. I'm not certain why I was invited into the Gentleman's Diversion Club, uh, but it has been the best 24 hours of my life. <laughs> oh, come here, you. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Thank you.